Welcome back to Farm and Hammer, everyone. We've got another bottle calf profit or loss video. It's been a while since I made one of these, and normally I would make it in the fall because that's when I would sell these bottle calves. But I had a little bit of a change in plans, and I decided to sell them a little early. Let's just say it didn't go as planned. So the reason I decided to sell these things, as you guys know, in the last video I said I had kept back about 40 heifers. So my plan was to sell the bottle calves, put the heifers out where the bottle calves were on the rental farm, because these heifers are gonna be totally separate from my dad and I's operation here. About a week before sale day, I started feeding the calves once a day, every day, um, just to get them trained to come into the portable corral I had set up out there. And luckily, of course, they're bottle calves, so they're super calm. They were the only ones that would come in. I'd block the other cows and calves from getting in to eat. So just my bottle calves were coming in, which made it super easy for the morning of the sale. I just had to shake a feed bag. They all came running and just the calves came into the corral. Then the truck driver showed up, we loaded them. They were kind of stubborn because once again, the bottle calves are not afraid of people. Uh, we eventually got them on the truck and they were off to the sale barn. So the calves got to the sale barn at probably 10 o'clock in the morning. And my rep had already told me they probably wouldn't actually run through the ring till late afternoon because there was a yearling sale at Joplin that day. Um, so I was expecting them to sell late afternoon. Anyway, they sold at about 3.30 in the afternoon, which was a little later than I expected, but um, I still can't complain about the timing on it. So anyway, I'll just roll the video um, and I've got the prices that'll go over here in a minute, but I'll just roll the footage and you guys can see what they brought. So you guys saw the numbers. Um, as you could probably tell, they did not sell very well at all. Anyway, I was pretty disappointed in this group. Uh, not really sure what happened, but they just did not bring anything close to what I was expecting. The average weight was about 400 pounds, which if they hadn't have sat in the seal barn for that many hours, the shrink probably wouldn't have been so bad, so they probably would have averaged a little, a little more than that, probably 420, 425. But there were 18 steers and six heifers. But you guys saw them sell, but I'll just do a quick recap here. The little steers that you guys saw at the beginning, they weighed about 300 pounds average. They brought $1.51. The bigger group of steers, which I thought would do relatively well, they brought $1.38. And right before they ran mine through, they ran some 500 pound Holstein, straight Holstein steers through, and they brought the same $1.38. So I'm not sure what happened here, but just they did not do as well as I was hoping. Of course, I had the really small steer with a bad eye. Um, he only weighed 190, brought a $1.95, which I was expecting that one. Um, then the group of heifers, they didn't separate them at all. I thought they would, because there were some big ones and there was a couple small ones, but they ran them through all together. They averaged three, 140 pounds roughly and brought a dollar 40. 
And then they separated one heifer out at the very end, and she actually did the best out of all the steers and heifers combined. Um, she weighed 425, she brought $1.62, which ended up being about 685 bucks. Um, so that's the price I was expecting almost out of all of them, especially the steers, and they just, they did not sell well. So gross, the total was $12,709.55. And of course I had my hauling fee, all the vet fees, and just the selling fees in general. After all the fees, there was $11,981 left over. Prior to the sale on the low end, I was expecting, well, if it's really bad, they might bring 525 bucks a piece. Um, just based on what the beef calves were doing, I was estimating 75 cents lower than straight beef calves, and they brought a whole lot less than that. Almost $12,000, uh, 11981 But now, let's get into the expenses. As you guys know, I had one of the roughest years farming I'd ever had last year. 22, 2022 was rough. Um, so my bottle calves, I bought 65 total to start out. And as you guys know, about midway through, I had some disease come through, wiped out a whole 41 of them. So I was down to 24, started with 65. I had never seen anything like it. You can go back and check out those videos if you wanna see what happened. Vet couldn't figure anything out. But recently I talked to a bottle calf grower, um, that's what he does for a living, and I had told him my symptoms and he said it was probably Clostridium A. He said he had that run through his last year and same symptoms, they'd be drinking and then two hours later they're just dead. Not really any other signs. So that guy had also told me if you don't knee cropsy them within two hours after they die, they're not going to pick it up. So anyway, so I guess I kind of got some answers on what killed them. But just to go over some general expenses, um, I'm sure you can already figure out if this is a profit or loss video. Um, I bought 65 calves, as I said. On average, I paid $225 a piece, which comes out to $14,625 on calves. So milk replacer, I bought 65 bags. On average, um, that cost me $88 a bag. That total comes out to $5,700. Grain, luckily I didn't grain these super hard, um, so I only had $2,700 in grain expenses. And then vaccines, I only had to vaccinate 24 because that's all that lived, so my vaccine expenses are about 100 bucks. And last but not least, my hay expenses, those came out to about $300. That was hay and straw, technically. So total expenses, I'm not going to include gas because I've not gone over all my gas receipts yet on going to pick up calves, going to pick up feed, going to pick up milk replacer, that kind of stuff. Um, I, haven't to I haven't totaled that yet. Rent, um, I had them in the calf barn, which my dad was not charging me rent for. Um, but of course, pasture, normally I'd be paying my dad for pasture rent, but since I had them on the rental farm, they were only out there for a couple months, so it's kind of hard to figure that one out as well. So that's not even gonna be included. Um, but you can probably already tell how bad this is already gonna be. Um, total expenses, if you add all of those up, it's gonna be $23,425. Um, obviously, it's gonna be a little bit more with gas and everything else. And as I said, what I sold them for was $11,981. There is the total. Looks like it's just over $11,000, um, almost 11,500 bucks. And probably after gas, it's probably closer to 11,600 bucks or more. So anyway, big loss, big loss on the bottle calves this year. Do you guys remember me talking about my personal finances in the past here on the farm? Um, ever since I started raising bottle calves, I've pretty much been putting every single penny I've made back into the farm. If I made a decent profit on bottle calves, I'd turn around and either buy some more beef cows or I'd save it and buy more bottle calves the following year. I bought my first cows probably about, yeah, it'd be about 10 years ago now. Um, so for the last 10 years, every calf those cows had I'd keep their heifers back, and if they had steers, I'd trade my dad for some of his heifers. So that's how I've been growing my herd in the last 10 or so years. I really haven't taken a profit out of it yet. So since I'm putting all this money back into the farm, taking a big loss like that, it's, it's not great. It is not fun. But at the end of the day, it's not the end of the world. That's farming. As you can see, I've got my group of heifers back here, 40 of them here. I wouldn't say they were my backup plan, but now they have kind of turned into my backup plan. I was planning on keeping all of these and whatever didn't breed, I would sell them. But since I got hit so hard on the bottle calf sales, um, just to pay some other farming bills, I may end up selling some of these heifers that I initially intended to keep. Not a fun decision to make because I really wanted to see how this group would do. Um, 
especially all the nice heifers like that one. Um, if they do end up going to town, I'll be replacing them with 20 or 30 more um, cows. Bread cows have dropped a little bit in price in my area in the last month or so. When it starts getting hot and people start running out of grass, they start going a little bit cheaper. So that may be what I end up doing, but uh, I will keep you guys updated on this whole situation in a separate video. So I know this was not a super pleasant video, um, but it is a good lesson for anyone else that's starting to get into bottle calves. Um, or if you've had, I don't know, seven or eight good years like I have, never had any trouble, there's always that off chance that you could lose it all. So don't ever invest money into cattle that you can't afford to lose. And that is about my only advice for today. Since this was a pretty rough bottle calf season, I'm not sure what the future holds for me and bottle calves, but, um, this may or may not be the last profit or loss video on bottle calves. We will see. But with that being said, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one, and I will see you all next time.